Ross Hardy, HF Cards Technical Support, and uh, we're going to show you how to update the firmware on a Workforce 4630. And we give you some download links and an email, and they're going to take you here to twomanuals.com, at which time that you're going to download your Mac or your Windows PC version of the software by clicking the download link. And of course, we're going to save it. And then we're going to run the software. For Windows, it's going to be uh, WIC Reset Program. And you want the latest version. And you want a desktop shortcut. Because the program has more uses than just, uh, just uh, resetting your firmware to an earlier version. And once you're all done, the program will load. And it's going to give you a tutorial, okay? Now, I have the program started on another PC to, to speed up the video. But it will support certain models for certain functions. And those supported models, uh, you can close the assistant for this session or close it forever. I recommend just closing it for this session. So you can see your supported models with disabled Linux And firmware. You need these two columns with a dollar sign to be able to use our special keys. And you can clearly see that the 4630 and the 4640 are able to disable. Okay, so back to the control, you would want to click on your printer. At this time, I'm going to move to another PC just behind me. And what I want uh, to do here is I want to show you the utility on the workforce 4630 itself so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna launch the program here now I've already put this printer in service mode okay you want to follow along with their software you can see that it's already in firmware update mode we'll cover that later but this utility will actually tell you what to do and show you pictures inside of it so what we want to do is click into this box firmware versions with disabled ink cartridges and you want to find your correct version and you want to make sure there's no red in here if there's red in here close the program open it again uh, there is a step in here where they want you to disable the status monitor. That's pretty easy to do. You come here, you um, on Windows 10, or you just type in printers on Windows 10. If you're on an earlier version, version go to printers and, and devices, and find your printer, and manage. And then go to printing preferences. Get to the printing preferences screen. Go to maintenance. Make sure if the status monitor is grayed out. And by clicking extended setting settings, that's where you uncheck that box and save it. Okay? So once all that's done, reboot the printer. Get it into service mode like they recommend when running the software. And then disable the ink cartridges. Firmware versions with disable ink cartridges and disable it now. Make sure that the selected firmware is matched to the printer, otherwise the reset key may be lost. So, continue. I'm going to click no. I'm just going to go here and browse this. And now it wants your key. And I didn't bring one, so hold on a second. These were the two manual screen instructions that I told you. Okay, Ross Hardy ain't check carts, and I'm back with you. I've entered a key, and it says that it's downloading the firmware now. And it says click here to cancel. Do not cancel. Uh, also, there were steps in there to back up your EEPROM. I recommend that you do that. And I recommend that uh, 
you make sure you pay attention to this lower bar. And now it says it's updating the print, pr printer firmware. Okay, and there's still a progress bar over to the right. And you see it growing on the left. And, and it says data is transferred to the printer. Now the printer will begin internal update process. Please wait until the printer performs all required changes and press zero on the printer in order to restart it. So now the printer is doing something a little new. It says it's in progress and it has a status button that's flashing orange and it's growing in intensity. So you don't want to do anything at this point. You just want to let this run. Until the screen on the printer changes. So when that status button goes out, I'm sure we'll see something a little different on the screen. And it says that the firmware version has been changed to Workforce 30. No Inks, United States. So, other than that, we're waiting on this to complete. And what we want to do is we don't want to do anything at this point until something changes on this printer. Okay, see what I mean by waiting? It says now finished. Program update mode is finished. Until you see that this is finished, you do not want to hit the zero key. And the zero key is how you get out of this, okay? So now you can see that it fixed up. Uh, all these different updates of the EEPROM and now you will hit the zero key to restart the printer. Now we're having a normal boot up with the printer after making the changes and you want to keep hitting set up. Now my ink levels on this printer were scattered. None of them were empty but none of them were full and that's very important. Okay, and you can go back here and you can click refresh de detected printers and then you can click on yours and then click on, uh, you know, see you can do head cleanings, ink charge. Now this is important. This, this utility is important. If you ever have a stalled cartridge or you think you, you can do things with this WIC for free. But what we want to look at right now is a report. And we're seeing now that GM 9 gc 912 of 16. Now, my previous version was GM 19 Echo 9, which you can see right there. So you can see that we took it to an earlier version of the firmware. And, and that's all done now. So... All I got to do is wait for the printer to, to fully boot up so that I have control so I can see my ink levels. And then I will have a successful uh, firmware upgrade that shows all ink levels is full all the time. And I'm back with you. Same printer. Ink levels are all full and they're going to stay that way forever. Okay? So we've completed the firmware upgrade. Now we click home, set up. Uh, status sheet. Make sure I have some paper in here because I believe I was low. So I'm going to print the status sheet on the same piece of paper that I printed the other one on. And I'm going to print it. Does it now come out? And now you can see that it's GM09 GC on the main firmware. And the previous time, before the upgrade, it was GM19 Echo 9. Okay? So we're, we're done. And we're complete. So I didn't have any more paper, so I want to cancel that. And 
let it go. So now this printer is forevermore going to have full ink levels. It's up to me to monitor. It's up to me to uh, maintain the cartridges. But I will never be nagged about ink levels anymore. Okay? These ink levels will stay 100% full all the time. Okay? Thank you for your time. Ross Hardy, Inkjet Cards Technical Support. I'll try to piece these videos together and get them done for you. Thank you very much.